Griffin, come from Christchurch, moved up to Wellington to study architecture. I've been playing guitar for about three years now. I did play quite a long while before that, but I never really stuck. I kind of got sick of it, treating it more like a job, a chore. Okay. But then I kind of got back into it and I fell in love and put it down there. Every day I try and play for at least half an hour now. Some days I play a lot more than others. It doesn't even really feel like it's effort, I just kind of play it, you know. It's sitting there, I'm just pick it up, waiting for something to load on the computer or something, just have a chance. Music in general I find a really good way to express emotion without having to use words and stuff. Looking back to like classic musicians and stuff like people like Chopin, you can hear the emotion in just the keys. My biggest idol by far is Buckethead. Like I said, I didn't the guitar straight away and then I got into Buckethead and he's like producing like 20 albums a year, done over 200 things. Some of it's really simple, it's so beautiful and elegant, it kind of inspired me to pick up the guitar again. I never really got into learning songs much, like I wouldn't learn like four chord songs, I wouldn't go around learning rock songs or anything, not even like my favourite songs. I would learn classical songs because I felt they were really interesting to transcribe to a guitar. You gotta jump around a lot, like you end up going from like up here, here to down there or something. And just the technical side of it, it, it kind of gripped me more than learning four chords and just doing those over and over, it kind of gets a bit boring, you know. When I first started, my dad had a friend who knew guitar, he was pretty good. And he gave me a few basic lessons, like what a minor chord is, how to free the guitar, and he taught me the pentatonic scale, which was probably the most important thing he ever taught me. And then at school, I had some mates who were doing a performance. They came to me and they're like, could you just learn this really bass rhythm? I'm like, sure, why not? After that, I kind of got back into it. Ended up doing a few lessons. The people we did the performance with, we kind of started a bit of a jazz band. We never actually did anything. We never performed anything, but we would have practices once a week for like a month, it didn't last long. Through that I learned like basic music theory, things like the major scale, how to transcribe the major scale, and all the different note names and stuff, chord structure. And then I did have a guitar teacher in level three NCA who taught me kind of how to jam over chords, I guess, like how to jam over root notes. He taught me major minor seven arpeggios, which are basically everything I use as a major or minor seven chord. I kind of stick to the basics and just work off that. I mainly prefer to do my own stuff. Like one of the reasons I never really got into guitar because like I said it was I found it quite boring to be learning other people's songs. And so once I learned the major scale, that was really the the igniter for me. So once I learned that, which is just I mean it was simple as just if I can't even remember it. It's not like that. So I don't really play it in order anymore. I just the major scale is just like a structure like shape on the guitar that you can see all the notes that match together and it's more about ear now at this point but then once I learned that I would just start screwing around and it just which is that's just going up the major scale and I just do that kind of thing over and over and I fell in love with that a lot more than I ever enjoyed learning songs and so that's just what I do and I get like the work pedal maybe do like a basic chord progression jam over that and that's just the most fun I have. an Ovation Elite. It's, I don't know much about guitars, but it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got the, it's a bit unique with this, uh, the whole system there. I just walked into a, the rock shop and I was looking around and looking to buy a guitar. I played around with a few and liked this one the most. It's uh, treated me really well. This is an LTD M100 FM. I've had this guitar for about uh, two years, two, three years. This was the first guitar I bought. The ovation is obviously acoustic, this is the electric, and the difference is quite significant really. I find the ovation much better for a lot of placeable pieces, and better for finger picking kind of things, which is not better for the pick. Uh, in terms of playing, the ovation has a much higher action, which is the string height off the fretboard which makes it mean you've got to put a lot more pressure into your fingers. So it's good for the finger strength that way, because then they go back to the electric and it feels a lot more fluid. Which is why the electric is a little better for playing fast, playing heavy, playing that kind of thing. I know, I mean, especially I feel like if I'm in a more emotional kind of state, it definitely reflects into my music quite strongly, I find. If I'm in a bad mood or something, I can take it out on the guitar, and it just makes me feel instantly better. But, also, if I'm in a good mood, I can play guitar for a long time as well, and I'll sit there and play and just go over and over and feel really good about everything I'm doing. There are times where I sit there and I'll just play and sing for like hours and hours on end. I mean, if you've ever thought of learning an instrument, do it. 
I know I regret not playing guitar for all the time I didn't. When I picked it up, if I'd stuck to it, it'd be so much better than I am now. And yeah, I mean, if even if your parents are pushing you and you don't really feel like it, maybe just do it anyway. <laughs> Sounds really good. Uh, but uh, like, definitely learn an instrument if you can. It's really good for not just being able to make music and stuff, but it's good for your mind. Like, it's actually studies have shown that music is one of the only things that actually uses every part of your brain while you're playing. It's like a full body workout for your brain. <laughs>